Hey guys, welcome to episode 31. Um, we are in the Cumberland Sound right now, um, which is sort of where this episode is going to end. We the jib out, we're motor sailing, we've got the tide with us, we're doing eight knots. Uh, the motor's on about, you know, half of throttle, not anything on, under real power. And we're sailing down to St. Mary's River, which is the Florida Georgia Line. River, which is the Florida Georgia line. Yeah, I know. I said it. Uh, we're going to motor up to St. Mary's a couple miles and we're going to stay in the town of St. Mary's because apparently it's very nice for uh, sailors and cruisers. Uh, it's a nice place to hang out and they're really nice to you. So that's always nice. And that will mean we are done Georgia officially. And still to date, we haven't hit bottom in the ICW in Georgia at all. So pretty good. Um, ICW is not so bad. There's a couple spots. You just got to run at high tide. So on your Navionics, if you just look for little tide markers, figure out when high tide is, particularly when it's in your favor, like if it's a high tide and the inlet's past, um, go out when the tide's coming out because then it's gonna push you on the way out. And if the inlet's behind you, uh, go on a rising tide at near high tide. That way it'll push you right through. So we're starting to get the hang of that. We're starting to kind of master it. Um, anyway, yeah, Florida, like we're gonna be in Florida. As you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt. It is like, what, beginning of November, and we're wearing t-shirts. Uh, yesterday, Candace was in a bathing suit. Like, it's getting pretty nice. So anyway, we lost our buddy boat that got a day ahead of us. So we're just soloing it right now. Um, get to St. Mary's and chill out. And we're gonna try to bang out episode 31. It's Thursday today. That way I can upload it tomorrow morning on Friday, which is back to our regularly televised schedule um, to upload every Friday. Sorry, sometimes we get behind because of Wi-Fi or weather or whatever it is. But it's 75 degrees today and this marina probably has wi-fi so the trick will just be getting the password um, other than that in florida there's a couple things we're going to be looking for maybe you guys can help us out um, number one we have to fill our propane tank we have a fiberglass 17 pound tank so we have to actually fill it we can't exchange it um, and we want to keep that tank because it's fiberglass and we paid a lot of money for it so it doesn't rust um, but we need to fill that propane tank so we're going to need to find a place that does that uh, we found a lot of exchange places but that doesn't really help us um also we'll probably need to find a hardware store a couple things like that and we need to ship some stuff uh we got to order some stuff off amazon we need a new drive belt for the autopilot a spare drive belt anyway um and i think there'll be a, a few hundred dollars worth of amazon purchases that we need to have shipped somewhere so i understand you can ship to post offices we're going to look into that if you have any suggestions on um either one of those two things please uh hit us up in the comments if you are in Florida and you want to hang out, we'd love to have a beer sometime. Um, just go to our Facebook page, look up Lady K Sailing on Facebook, shoot us a message. We usually reply within a few hours if we have Wi-Fi. Uh, and we can chat on there and hopefully link up and have a beer. Anyway, that's it. Uh, enjoy episode 31. Hello. Tell me some highs. Some highs. What's the highs? I mean... The fact that I can take my house with me everywhere. Everywhere. Um, yeah. That's probably my favorite thing. The fact that we can also take it anywhere without using any power is amazing. Um, the fact that I'm doing it with the love of my life is amazing. There you go. Money, 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 money! Money! No? No, we use oh. that. It's good. Oh. <laughs> that was actually pretty. How do you feel about money cruising? Uh, a lot less stress back home what there's no bills to pay there's no like yes we have to keep up on fuel yes we have to feed ourselves yes we have to quench our thirsts but that's you don't stress about that i mean when the beer gets low you stress a little bit like there's been i think two two times total that we've been completely out of beer and just get out of my way get out of my way but outside of that, I, you don't think about it. You don't think about the money and what do you need? What do you want? I mean, I do because I'm a girl and I'm just kind of built that way and I always need crap that I don't need. <laughs> like, I'm borrowing a pair of pants from Barefoot too. Thank you, Erica. And <laughs> I would like to give them back, 
but I can't give them back because I can't find a pair of comfy pants anywhere in this wonderful country that fit me. It's Welcome to Savannah. So our friend uh, Ron is going to take us out and he's going to show us the sights and give us a little tour of Savannah. And it's always sort of somewhere I wanted to see. Uh, like two years ago when I was working in an office, I had asked my boss like, hey, can I work remotely for a week? My, my cost, I will fly to Savannah, get a Airbnb or something, and I just want to work out of a cafe in Savannah for a week. I think that would be really cool because Savannah is so historic and so beautiful and I have no idea to what I'm talking about because I've never seen it. So uh, anyway, Ron's going to pick us up, he's going to take us, he's going to show us around and we'll bring the camera so you guys can get a little tour of Savannah. If you do want to stop here, it is right on the ICW, we're in Thunderbolt is the little town we're in. Um, I don't know who names the town Thunderbolt, but it's a pretty cool name. So uh, if you're down the ICW and you go past Thunderbolt, there's a little anchorage and you can pretty much walk into Savannah, it's just right there. So sweet, check this out. Um, as some of you have noticed, maybe in our videos, I keep talking about how I'm going to make a stack pack. Um, our sail cover is not in the best of shape and uh, I ordered a bunch of fabric before we even left the house to do this. So um, yeah, it's just been a matter of timing and I didn't have everything that I needed, but now that I do, I uh, shout out to sail right. Um, I am going to get started on it. Um, we have a dock right now and we don't have any intention of staying at marinas uh, at all for the rest of this month. Um, but I've got a solid concrete dock so I am going to get all the pieces cut that I need and I can sew everything while we're underway. Yay!
so two episodes ago, we did an episode called ICW, and in that episode, I talked a little bit about our thoughts on the ICW now that we had put some miles down in it. Um, and that was through Virginia and North Carolina, and my opinion at that point was, it's not as bad as people say it is. It gets a lot of negative hype and a negative publicity because it's shallow and there's like power boats everywhere and things like that. But I mean, as you can see behind me, there's not a lot of other traffic. Uh, and we're at peak season. We're end of October, beginning of November. Um, now I think that we want to do a little bit of an update on the ICW. Um, and I said that I would when we got through uh, South Carolina, Georgia, because that's where it's bad, apparently. Um, we're almost to Florida now, so we've done all of South Carolina and most of Georgia. We've gone through the really crappy spots like Hell's Gate. Um, and we've run a lot of it at low tide. And we've yet to hit bottom in the ICW. We've yet to get stuck. Uh, the six foot boat behind us, we draw it five feet, but the six foot boat behind us has yet to hit bottom or get stuck. Uh, I think they brush bottom a few times when we're looking for an anchorage in some different places, but as long as you stay in the channel, which is absolutely really, really easy to do, um, it's very well marked and it's very easy to follow. Um, we just went through a little patch where we saw six and a half feet, but again, we're at zero tide right now, and it's an eight foot tide uh, in this part of Georgia. So we're at zero, and we saw six and a half feet in a really sort of sketchy part. Um, say if you're considering coming down and you're debating on ocean or ICW, uh, ocean for sure because that's fantastic, but we've had all southerly winds for the last week and a half, so I'm not going to go out in the ocean and beat against the wind. Uh, the ICW has been fine. Um, it's actually been very pretty, and most of your nights are spent in very, very nice anchorages or in really nice little sort of small town America. Uh, it's been pretty good. So I would definitely do the ICW again. No qualms with it at all. Um, especially now that we're almost on the worst of it. Anyway, that's our thoughts. Okay, another day done on the ICW. We got our friend Ever After right there on the catch. Barefoot Two's right behind us. Peaceful, as you can see. It's very calm, very little wind. Birds chirping. And it's warm. I think it's 70 probably 73 or 72 which would be like low 20s in Canada um it's nice it's beautiful it's a good end to the day I'm just going to do some boat work get some stuff cleaned up um we were losing some rpms on the engine on the way here um we've been revving it uh we've always revved the motor at about 2400 cruising speed but I read the owner's manual and since we've always been the slow boat I wanted to make sure I was revving it appropriately well it's a Volvo MD 2030C and if you look that up, the maximum rev range is 3,600. And the um, suggested rev range is 500 less than that, because that's the top of the torque curve. So we're actually supposed to be running at 3,000 would be our sort of cruising speed. Um, so we started running at 3,000, but the fuel filters are dirty. So it would uh, run at 3,000 for about, I don't know, half an hour. And then it would start to dive off. And I think it was because it was emptying a fuel filter. And then if you backed off the throttle, it would come back up and then it would run for a while longer while it sort of sucked the fuel filter dry this is my theory anyway um and then it would uh it would die back off so we're going to change the fuel filters and we haven't been changed in probably two months now um, because we've been pre-filtering with one of those funnel filters um, so they have lasted quite a while but we're going to change them out tonight and then tomorrow we'll try running at three grand again well like 2900 we're not running at quite at three uh, but we'll run at 2900 tomorrow and see if it's better i'll let you guys know Okay, so, like I said, we we're dropping revs today, um, and I suspect it's because the fuel filters are dirty, which makes perfect sense. They're supposed to be dirty, they're due to be changed, and it is what it is. One of them is one of the glass bowl kind of deals that does the water separator. That's right here. And that and that one is one of the see-through, or the, the through filters, so... Um, it's the only one we can actually see inside of, barely, just to see if it actually is clogged. And then the other one is on the side of the motor, up at the lift pump. Thank you. 
So when we decided to go down the ICW and set about in the ocean, I was a bit worried because I read things about how it'd be like really narrow and really shallow and it'd be terrible and there'd be bugs and whatever else, but um, it's not. It's like this big, open, beautiful, I'm going to point the camera the other way. So I just had a shower. Candace is cooking hamburgers on the barbecue. Um, we're here with two other boats. We've got our buddy boat, Barefoot 2, and then another boat we've been running with for a few days ever after. Is there anywhere better you can possibly spend a night? And it's November, mind you, for our Canadian friends. I'm in a t-shirt and shorts right now, and just had a hot shower, and I'm sitting out on the deck in the wind, and it's, 73 or 74 degrees and it's just as far as the eye can see it's just landscape and it's beautiful southern georgia is absolutely amazing if, if you ever get the chance to go through georgia do it savannah is absolutely gorgeous all of georgia is absolutely beautiful um if you're a sailor and you're considering coming down the icw and you're worried about georgia because it's the shallowest bit of the icw don't worry about it we're we're in 15 feet of water right now and that's low tide we have a great anchorage we had to pay out a little more scope so that when the tide comes up it comes up nine feet um we just have a little bit more scope paid out to accommodate it but look at it how could you not want to do this how could you not want to be here right now making hamburgers and that's it this is my evening and tomorrow I can get up and do another couple miles. I'll be in Jacksonville, Florida. Wow. I can't believe life can be this. Life can be what this is right now. There's dolphins everywhere, all the time. All the time, dolphins alongside your boat. Can't get them with a the camera, because as soon as you point a camera, they go away. But there's dolphins all the time. There's huge fish jumping out of the water that we've got a rod in the water now. We're finally trying to catch them, but huge fish jumping out of the water. We're right at an inlet to the ocean, so there's probably tuna and stuff. It's This is just... Why the hell would you go to work tomorrow if you could do this? I, don't, I, I did it for a long time. I'm glad I stopped. I am so glad I stopped. I wish I stopped five years ago. I wish I was here five years ago. This is just absolutely magical. This is how you're supposed to live your life. In a place like this. On a, what is it, Monday night or something. Like, it just, it's a Monday night. And... Babe? Yeah, babe. Dinner time. Okay. Ooh, okay, that's it for episode 31. As you can see, we got an epic sunset right behind me. Um, we are in Georgia right now, which is there. However, this is the St. Mary's River, which divides Georgia and Florida. So the grass you see over there is Florida. Georgia. Florida. This is so awesome. I can't believe we're already, like, already in Florida. I know we left August 6th, so it's been like four months or something. But Florida. Oh, can't believe we're finally here. Um, anyway, I wanted to fish, finish episode 31 with sort of an announcement. A bit excited. A little bit. Um, I finally uh, published a bit of a book. So if you... It's just Kindle kind of thing. So if you want to go over to Amazon, um, I'm going to throw a link in the description. It's just publishing now, so it's actually not up yet. So I can't tell you what the link is. But uh, I'm going to publish it on our website too. So ladykaysailing.com. If you go to ladykaysailing.com, I'll put a little link there to the actual book. You can grab it. It's probably going to be a dollar, and you can read it if you want. You can pass. That's cool. Uh, but it will go into a little more detail, and this is volume one. I'm going to write a bunch of books because I'm kind of like I love writing and the creativity thing. Um, and the videos just aren't enough to keep me busy. So I'm going to start writing a book every probably month or so. 
Um, so volume one is about leaving home. It goes through in detail everything we went through to get the boat ready, get ourselves ready, quit our jobs, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to check it out, check it out. Um, patrons, obviously, you can have it for free. I'll give you guys a coupon code and you can have the book for free and all for future books you can have for free as well, obviously. Uh, but anyway, if you want to grab the book, um, check the description. If it's not there yet, it's because it's still publishing because of the unique way Amazon does things. But it'll be on our website as soon as it's done. So cheers, guys. Thanks so much for watching another episode. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, the more subscribers we get, uh, the more videos we can make, and the more we'll keep doing this. Um, outside of that, we will see you guys in a week for episode 32. Cheers. Hey!